Frodo. All right, so he's uh, well, not too bad. He hasn't played too many games. I don't know who he actually got his win against. Oh God, Blender in! Don't even joke about that. Blender in! Blender in! The horror! Fire Bad Hero! The hero of Air Force Ace is coming out to save the day. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. Fire Bad Hero's got this. We're gonna have at least one more game here. Fire Bad Hero gonna PBZ it up with Hoja. I didn't actually see what his stats were just now, though. Whatever, man. He's Fire Bad Hero. It doesn't matter what his stats are, because he's freaking awesome. Come on, FBH. You can do it, man. I have faith. I believe. I believe in FBH. We should make that a t shirt, actually. I believe in FBH. Kit says he's own, too. See, Kit's not a believer. She's just some lousy Bisu fan. But I believe FDH. I believe it. Alright, looks like we're on Cloud Kingdom, spawning at the bottom left as the red Zerg. We have Hoja. For KT. Oh, KT bench is shouting now. Mayoriga, I'm sure. Mayoriga. And that means at the top right is the blue Kurdals, who will be the dancing queen. Number one player in the world, in the universe, fire bad hero. Look at that handsome face. Actually, is it just me or does he look a little bit like the hunchback of Notre Dame from that angle? I'm just saying. Did you guys, did you guys see that? Hold on, can somebody go, like, okay, somebody needs to take, go back uh, when the ball comes out and, like, take a screenshot of that and put it side by side with a picture of the hunchback? It's just, like, the angle and, like, the way his eyes look. I was just like, wait, is he, is he actually a Disney character? He had the whole hunchback vibe going there. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> FOMOS. Something, something, something. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I believe the pile was placed in front. It's gonna be some forge fast expanding. Aww, aww, isn't that cute? Fuck you, man! Fuck you! Ah, uh, look at you all showing off with your girlfriend in Pro League. You think you're so cool? You think you're so cool? Fuck that guy. Anyway. Uh, so what were we saying? Oh yes, there's a game of StarCraft going on. So, uh, let's there's a spawn pool here. It's like it's 14 pool. Uh, somebody, people are typing DRG. Is DRG in the crowd? Was that DRG? I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy being jelly. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's gonna be uh, 17 Nexus, it looks like. Ooh, greedy, greedy Protoss. Greedy, greedy Protoss. And the Overlord's gonna see how late this forge is. Is that gonna be in time? Could you imagine if, like, after all that, Fireman Hero just loses to six Earthlings? Because that, that feels like it's gonna be a little bit close to me. I mean, obviously, he can wall it off completely. That's actually, he might do that if he sees how much of Link's coming out. He might just, uh, just wall himself off completely. But because he built that pylon there, he's gonna need like a gateway and then another building behind the pylon. So I guess actually he can just put another gateway behind the pylon and this should be fine. Anyway, it looks like uh, Hoja did only make four lanes. He's sending three of them out. He sent one to the watchtower and then sent it back to his base. Um, he's now getting his third base, got overload there. He's making sure there's no uh, cannon shenanigans going on since he can get that really nice cannon uh, placement there. And oh, looks like it is going to be blocked here. Alright, nice. So the cannon will finish in time. Excellent. Oh, I think he actually did it with just a pylon as well. Oh, okay, very nice. <laughs> so, yeah, nothing out in the order. Gas is being added in Protoss' base. Zerg's just gonna drone up a little bit. 
And looks like we have a summoning explorer placed just so that the Overlord can see it. You know, just gonna tease him a little bit. Hi, Overlord. Here's my Cybernet Explorer. In the meantime, I don't think uh, Firebird Hero has actually scouted the fact that there is a third base for the Zerg, which concerns me a little bit, because he's playing a little bit in the dark, like, Hoja could be going for some kind of, you know, Ling banning all in, for all he knows. So I don't... Hmm. I'm a little bit concerned by this lack of scouting. Maybe he did see it before with his other worker, I, I'm not actually sure. Um, actually, maybe it, maybe that maybe he did actually see it, that's why the Ling was pulled back, because the scouting crew was still alive. But I did not notice. Uh, apparently he did see the third. Okay. Alright. Well, I guess he did. Good times. And so, he is now... Is he taking his third and fourth gas boat? Yes, indeed. He is going up to four gas. So no silly warp gate all in. The overload gonna see that third gas. Should probably swing around the bottom there to go check the fourth one. Um, just to have a look. In the meantime, looks like he's ground up enough. He's getting his own gases now. It's about 51 supply, so it's yeah, it's about 40 something drones. It's about right. And uh, we see plus one actually quite a bit on the way here. And oh, a citadel. Or sorry, whoops, whoopsie daisies. A Twilight Council, I mean. A Citadel? What's that? What is a Citadel? This is a Mass Effect. There's no Citadels in this game. No, that is, of course, a Twilight Council. <laughs> and we're going to see Roach Warren and a Vision Chamber. <coughs> Standard stuff for uh, Hmm. So I wonder if uh, that's also so it's partly so you can get plus two really fast. Because um, this plus one is about to finish, and he's going to get blink as well. You can also start getting plus two. He's going to have some really sweet upgrades. With this, uh, with, this, uh, with this relatively good citadel. And looks like Overlord's trying to come in here and see what's going on, but that uh, Twilight's placed quite nicely, so that it's, it's going to be difficult for that Overlord to see it. I don't know if it will see it, but ooh, barely getting into range there. So actually, he does see the Twilight Council, and he sees one of those uh, gateways warping in. And this is three more gateways, though, so nothing uh, too severe. Uh, and now a robot has started as well, it looks like. A bunch of spinnings were just made, though, I think. Is that what that was in, in the production tab? I think it made like 20 Zergans or something. In the meantime, Zerg is showing us that the uh, probe saturation is quite nice. Maybe he needs a couple more probes there at the main, doesn't he? Because that was 18 probes? Or, yeah, he had 18 probes in the main on minerals. He needs a couple more there. <clears throat> in the meantime, getting a relatively quick third here, um, with a good number of sentries, but he hasn't walled in his uh, his narrow ramp there either, um, so I feel like he might want to do that just to uh, prevent any kind of backstabs with these things. And, and, uh, and while he does have one stalker at the Zomaga Watchtower, it's going to get picked off, and th there's the wall in at that narrow ramp. I think he doesn't need that many buildings. Do you need that many buildings to wall that in? Well, I guess, I guess that makes it so that even if the rocks get broken or get destroyed, um, it'll still be walled in. I think he could have saved on a gateway there if he wanted to, and maybe uh, started walling in his third as well. He does like only have sentries right now, he's got seven sentries. Oh, he's got a couple zolts now, he's got three zolts, a stalker, and a sentry, and, and rather seven sentries, but he's also getting hallucinate, look at this! He's getting hallucinate! Oh, this is very cool. Meanwhile, uh, infestation pit and spy are both on the way for the zerg. But look at this, hallucinate, hallucinate, that's pretty cool, I wonder what he's gonna do with this. Obviously, you know, uh... Well, you know, a simple move to do is just to hallucinate a phoenix and go scout, but, you know, when you have that many sentries, he's gonna have a lot of energy to use. So, I don't know, if he can maybe hallucinate some colossi, some mortals or something, I'm not really sure what he's gonna do with this. But I like it. I like it. Uh, recently, actually, I, I saw... Um, I think it was... Uh, was it a GSL game? I was watching some game recently where uh, the Kratos actually hallucinated like five Phoenix uh, when like Mutas were attacking his third, and so like the Zerg saw it and immediately ran away, even though they were all fake Phoenix. So I thought that was quite cool. Um, I feel like it was a GSL game. I'm really not sure, though. It might have been something else. Anyway. Oh, look at the observer. 
server showing us all the wonderful things you can hallucinate. It's quite funny that you can hallucinate warp prisms and probes. I'm still waiting for somebody to uh... Apparently it was DRG versus Sase. Oh, is that MLG? Okay, that's possible. Alright, that makes sense. <laughs> Meanwhile, we have a bit of a wall in here at the third base as well, and uh, he's gonna move out, and look at this, he's hallucinated some Colossus, doing like a fake two-base, or not two-base, but like a, a fake Colossus push, I guess? Um, now, I don't know if, has, has Hojo actually seen this yet, though? Has he actually scouted it? He's got a few Zerglings running around all over the place, so I don't know if he's actually seen it, but he's making some Corruptors now. Um, so he's definitely been faked out there, those Corruptors aren't actually gonna do anything, at least until the greatest fire comes out and they can turn into brood lords. <laughs> um, so those Colossus. They're fake, they're not real. But they can disappear soon. I, I, I'm surprised he didn't move out a little bit further now. I mean, I guess he showed them. Because there are actually a lot. Oh, actually, there's a ton of corruptors coming out. Wow. He's actually forced like six corruptors or something. But now the, uh, the hallucinations wore out. And I don't know, were they in range of that Zergling to see that they were actually hallucinations? But either way, he's going to run with these Zerglings now. He's going to be like, wait a minute, where did your Colossi go? Now he's going to be a little bit confused. But he's already made his uh, corruptors, so it doesn't even matter. He's already wasted all that money on corruptors. But the thing is, I say wasted, but obviously his hive is almost done, so he can just make the greatest fire now and just turn them all into brood lords. So it's not actually a huge, huge deal, but obviously, you know, he didn't quite want to make them yet. So, you know, it's a small victory, and it only costs, what, like, a, a little bit of energy on some sentries, like, not a big deal. In the meantime, it looks like uh, Fireman Hero is just content to just sit back and turtle up and play a long game. He's uh, keeping his army back, he's taking a fourth base, and I believe Hoja's taking the bottom right base. He's already got his own fourth up. Um, Spread is kind of moving out towards the middle. Not the best creep spread I've ever seen, but you know, it's alright. And we also see Psystorm on the way for, uh, for FBH here. No Stargate though, I'm a little bit concerned by the lack of a Stargate, so his mothership is not going to be out anytime soon. Um, looks like he's just going to rely on Blink Stalkers and High Templars, I guess, uh, to help deal with the, the Broodlords and Infestors. Of course, uh, if you can get some good feedbacks on, uh, off on a bunch of Infestors, that'll also help uh, a great deal. Put some links going in in the back. Is there enough stuff to defend this third looks like uh, a ton of links moving in here. A few zealots being warped in. There are four cannons, but that's not nearly enough to deal with all those zerglings. And now, Peros Boris is kind of uh, out of position. He's just going to go for a counterattack. But this fourth base is very heavily defended by spine crawlers. All the infestors are there. Looks like he's just going to walk around the back though, uh, snipe some of these drones from the high ground, and perhaps move into the third base. But his fourth base is going to get taken down here. I don't know. If, I don't think he's even aware of that bottom right base. He might want to just send a couple of zealots down there to take care of that. But he uh, doesn't seem like he's seen it. And now the brood lords are on the way here. He's got a very short timing window to move in here, but he's actually going to blink in and start sniping some of these infestors. The Brewlords are not finished yet. This could be a very nice timing for Firebat Hero, but there's a lot of spine crawlers there. Is he going to be able to take down these Brewlords? He's picking off the Brewlords before they even finish morphing. A lot of force fields going down to block the Zerglings, but now the Brewlords have finished, and it looks like Firebat Hero actually getting caught in a bad position now. He doesn't have enough forces to deal with this. Roaches, spine crawlers, Brewlords, infestors, everything. Taking down his army, big fungals on everything, and I think Firebat Hero is going to lose the last of his forces here. He's only got like three stalks and three sentries that even shoot air. And that was a pretty expensive army to lose there, especially since he also lost... Actually, no! Oh my god! What the... What the Nexus? <laughs> Alright. He's got no army left, but somehow his Nexus survived with 44 HP. How did that not die? There were like a billion Zerglings there. I don't even know what happened there, but he's gonna die right now. Alright, so that's the end of that Nexus. But that's pretty funny though. <laughs> I don't know what just happened there, but oh, does he have Blink? Yeah, he does have Blink. Why is he not Blinking? Alright, there we go. What am I saying? Of course he has Blink. We saw him Blink just now, but it looks like uh, trying to snipe that one Broodlord doesn't quite get it and runs away before he can get fungal. I think that's a good move. Now, he's got six high Templars here, and they are get, uh, storing up energy for storms. Um, but I'm still, oh man, I'm still a little bit nervous for FBH. And oh my god, he's gonna get these units trapped by some Zerglings, Immortals, and Stalkers. They're alright. Not exactly the ideal <laughs> anti Zergling composition, and yeah, he's gonna get fungal here and get completely caught. Wow. That was not very good. And now Fire by Hero is down to 127 supply, it looks like, against 150. It's actually not that bad supply-wise, but now he's on three bases against the Zerg's five, because he didn't even kill a base with that attack, and he lost his fourth base. So he needs to make something happen. He's not moving out with a bunch of Blink Stalkers and uh, those High Templars. And the thing is, there's only five Broodlords. If he can feed back all the Infestors and stop them from, the f from fungling, uh, he can actually just Blink under and kill all those Broodlords. But is it going to happen? And the thing is, even if the Lynx come in, then he can just storm them. 
This corrupt is really not going to do anything, but that is, what is that, six infestors, a ton of zerglings. He's going to have to get really good storms off, and he has no force field, so he can't really zone the zerglings either. So it looks like he's just going to move back here. He's going to get another round of stalkers in. Uh, I'm going to kill, what was that? Was that just a changeling or something? I don't know, but anyway, here we go. Here we go. He needs to get the feedbacks off on the infestors, I think. Those feedbacks could be very crucial. The lings are leading the charge. He's, he's definitely seen the High Templar, so uh, so Hoja also knows he's got to be a little bit careful with his investors. It's like just running in a random Zergling there. Some random Zerglings just trying to pick off that probe. Meanwhile, some more Immortals have been added here. I don't really know if Immortal is the best choice in this situation. Honestly, what does he need the Immortals for? But there's some storms, and there's a big blink in. The, uh, the Brugos were actually a little bit too far forward, and huge storms on everything. Feedbacks as well. Oh my god, Firebat Hero. Getting a huge amount of storms on everything. I don't even know what he's storming anymore. I can't even tell what's on the screen. Oh man. Hoja getting stormed into oblivion there. Wow. Firebat Hero making great use of his High Templars. Unfortunately, it looks like he has lost most of his High Templar. Only one High Templar remaining. But that was pretty nice, and now I think the, the use of the Immortals becomes a little bit more clear because the Roaches really are the only things that are really uh, that have enough HP to just kind of tank some Storm Shots and still survive. Like, at the end of that battle, I think only the Roaches were left, uh, so we just used the Immortals to clean those up. Meanwhile, a big a Warpin of Zealots here at the third base is going to get cleaned up. Uh, one Zealot just kind of dancing in front of his buddies. But that's going to give uh, the Protoss Army the opportunity to move out a little bit here. KT coach not looking too impressed by Hoja, but the thing is Hoja's also expanded to that uh, nine o'clock base. So Hoja's taken his entire half of the map. But uh, actually, it looks like it looks like the bottom right base was actually killed. Is that wait? Is that base gone there? Oh my, it's a little bit. This this resolution is like giving me a hard time here. But I think that was that base actually gone? Has it been remade or is it still there? I don't even know. Anyway, Fire here though is continuing to make mortals. I don't think he needs any more. All right, he's going up to target now. Now he can, he's going to start getting a fleet beacon. But that is a lot of Mortals, and do you really need that many? Do you, like, does he not know that Colossus are pretty good? Clearly, clearly the Zerg players on Air Force Ace haven't been QQing about Colossus enough because Firebat Hero doesn't realize that they're amazing. They, they actually need to start whining a little bit more. But here we go, there's a big blink in and there's a big storm on all the Zerglings. Can we get some feedbacks on the investors? Looks like it doesn't even matter. There's a feedback, there's some feedbacks. Um, most of the energy seems to have already been used. A bunch of infested Terrans have, or uh, not that many, but a bunch of Banelings actually being morphed. Storm's on the Banelings. He's got to run away from the Banelings, and oh man, the Banelings can get some big hits off though. Huge hits from the Banelings. There's like only Immortals left, and pure Immortals is like nothing <laughs> against the late game Zerg. However, a big ra round of Stalkers walked in, and actually, it looks like Firebat Hero might even be able to kill this expansion. And the thing is, there's a bunch of Spine Crawlers, but those Immortals will take down the Spine Crawlers so quickly and also tank the shots very nicely. So now the Immortals actually actually kind of proving their worth here and helping take down the spine crawler forest and this base looks like it's actually going to go down some pretty random stuff here from both players uh, <laughs> random bailings and like immortal composition this is not your average pvz ladies and gentlemen this is what happens when you give brutal players a new game and just like hey this unit looks pretty cool let's just make some of these Meanwhile, we do have a counterattack with these Zerglings. It looks like Private Hero didn't choose to leave a High Templar there to help uh, add some storm to that defense. So that might get taken down, even though there are a number of cannons and zealots there. Yeah, it looks like that's going to get taken down very easily. There's not, no splash damage to help take down the Zerglings. Looks like he's going to use his uh, probes to help with the zealots. But it looks like he's taking down the third base as well. So Hoja has now lost his third and his fourth here. He's only got the bottom right base. I'm sure he's basically mined out. His main is natural. He's down to 124 supply against the 140 something supply Protoss. And he's now moving in. These uh, Brutalords going to get picked off before they even finish spawning. I don't know what's in that War Prism. It looks like, oh, this High Templar drops in the War Prism. He dropped them in to feed back the Infestors. That's like a PBT move right there to move in with the High Templar there. And GG from Hoja. Sick game from Firebat Hero. <laughs> naughty, naughty. Wow, that was cool. Firebat Hero, I am very impressed. I am almost inspired. I was thinking about race switching from Protoss to Zerg, but now, you know what? How can I? Firebat Hero plays Protoss. I think I will continue to as 